Crazy Bird, welcome back to Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Today, we are tackling World 5, the spooky house, with a big thwomp waiting to squish us here on the very first level. Let's see if we can avoid him and save more of the mini Marios. All right, DK. Let's see what the deal is with this one. I don't know why you would run into a spooky house if you're being chased by Mario. I would be terrified if I were you too. But uh, let's see what's going on. We got this thwomp over here, which if we get too close, his face changes and he slams down. So I think they're actually supposed to be toy thwomps with the rotating face like that. Obviously not a feature of a normal thwomp. So it's interesting, does, it, does Mario's Toy Company make life-sized versions of the toys in that way? It's interesting for sure. Oh, I see what I can do. If I go like this, I can trigger you to slam down and then get you stuck over there. Aha! Now, are we done here? I don't think so. Would I have, oh, you know what? Before we go and do that, I needed to do that same thing over here with you. Don't get squished. But if I could, ooh, this is tricky actually. Here, get you to slam down. And then yeah, we'll switch it over. Now they're both stuck here. Now we can get this present. I'll want to put this down here. Got it. So this needs to be a lots of crazy toys made by Mario's Toy Company all over the place. All right, well, wait, 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 let's go. What do I do with this one? Whoa, there's spikes falling down and I have to stand on the spikes. That can be de definitely a little bit dangerous. Oh, we got the thwimps too. The small ones are called thwimps and the, the big ones are called thwomps. So if I just go down here, can pick up the third and final present without too much of an issue. All right. And I think I can just, yeah, get you to slam down. I jump across and there is the first level of this world done without too much of an issue. That was pretty fun. All right, so three more presents for us. Perfect indeed. Okay, so what do we got next? With level two coming in. Whoa, we get this little knight little toy. That one's cute, I like that. So if they have that shield out there, I wonder if they can like push us around or something. Maybe they can push items around. That could certainly be dangerous. We'll find out as we get into this level. So first things first is that there's a present way on the top right. To reach that, we probably wanna climb these chains. And then I wonder if I could just, there we go. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to do it that way, but it worked pretty well. So I guess, hmm, maybe hit that. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe? I think I just fall down. Quickly, Mario, quickly, Mario. Got it, <laughs> with the last second to spare, I get through that one. That was nice. All right, so let's go through this part. And here are these little shield guys. When they spot you, they charge you. But can I land on top of you and, and grab you? I cannot. So what happens here? Oh, I see. That's very cool, actually, because I can see myself being able to get pushed into little areas, maybe if I'm ducking, that I wouldn't normally be able to reach too well. Ah! Not what I wanted. Here, get back up there. We're looking for one more present. Where could that be? Uh, well, yeah, see how I can't really walk through there, but I can get you to push me. Then, getting around here, I got a present, a one-up, and a hammer, no! I missed up the jump though. That was so unfortunate. Let's try that again. But now it should be much easier to get over. I just need you to push me over again, if you don't mind. Thank you. I'm guessing if I don't duck during that, it could be a bit dangerous. It might even end up squishing me. All right, go for it again. Thank you. Bounce up one more time. Got that. Grab the hammer and get rid of these candles. And there we go, we did it. So a quick level once we don't mess up the jump. All right, well I'm definitely getting the vibe of this world so far. I think, I don't know if this was the case for the previous world, but I'm pretty sure that this one and one other world are supposed to be new to this version of the game, uh, that they weren't in the original GBA version. So it is pretty cool that we get to play these. It's like a whole new experience. All right, DK. 
We're still chasing you. This time we have like a Shy Guy block somewhere. Maybe in the next segment. But the music here is intense. All right, boom, get that. And then I guess, yeah, get up here. How do I wanna do this? Let's focus on the present first. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to jump up on that wooden platform. Ooh, that was a good jump. All right. I'm gonna up here, press this one, if I can. There you go. And then I think same deal. Uh, okay, maybe not quite. If I pick this up, and then toss it at just the right time. Ah, didn't quite get it on there. How can I do this? Maybe if I jump throw, it doesn't land on this. Oh, okay. Huh. Let me get back over here. Hit that button. That might make this easier for me. Definitely seems like it so far. So I need to hit that yellow button on the left. I don't think I'd quite make that jump with the key. So I have to go back over here. Got it. Sort of running out of time. There's two presents on this first segment. So I just really wanna make sure we get those. Gotcha. Jump, oh, I didn't quite make it, but I can make it here. And then I just have to jump up with this. Gotcha, there we go, very cool. So there should only be one present left on this side. Whoa, the ghost shy guy, spooky. Oh, and they get turned into the blocks when I hit the switch. I see. Whoa, got some spikes falling up there. Same thing with these other shy guys then. I do see that one present there. So I'll wanna be careful to, okay. Get them to line up a bit different, maybe. Uh, that's a bit better, gotcha. So let's get this spike to fall. Then I can grab that without too much of an issue. Very cool. So the spikes eventually shrink away. That is something to keep in mind. We're just trying to get to the end of the level now, but if we could get a one up as well, not gonna complain about that one. There we go, almost at the 40 lives. I wonder if this game has a max of 99. There we go, we did it! That was a fun level. I like the Shy Guy blocks. Okay, so three more presents for us. We're officially halfway through the main levels here for this world. Let's keep it moving. And we got a uh, level four. We got the little toy boo, adorable. Seems like it winds up just like a bob -omb would. I wonder if it'll explode like a bob -omb does. I don't think so. It's sort of glowing now. So obviously, just like as booze typically do, if you look at it, it'll stop moving. But can I? Okay. No, no! I had to try it out. I, it's sort of weird how some enemies you can jump on top of them, some of them you can't, but there's no real indication on which one does which. So you just sort of have to try it. Okay, it looks like if I wanna get the second present, I wanna jump down here, press that button. I gotta be careful of the boop. Yeah, 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 chase me over here. And I think I can still land on that spike, awesome. And then I should just be good to get out of here. I'm not mistaken. Well, I need the key still. Can you stop chasing me, please? Uh, stressful. I'm watching you, you're watching me. Got it, oh, got it. No, come on. That was silly. We're at a little bit of a, the staring cost contest right now. Boom, got it. Not bad. What's next for this spooky house? I guess we just wanna get up here. The present's way up in that direction. Uh, oh, so I can still look at him while we're waiting for this. This is so silly, actually. There we go. And then I need to, whoa, not get squished, but Jump onto that thing. Oh no, oh no, hold on. Gotta grab this present first and foremost. And if we stop for a second, getting over there is going to require me to do this. Then don't jump off because there's nothing but spikes down there. We need to take the above path. This boo definitely complicates things. But if I just 
Get you to charge over here. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, thank you very much. And we complete that level. There was definitely a lot of chances to make some major mistakes there, but we figured it out. Three more presents for us. Four mini Mario saved. Let's keep marching through. So next up we have stage five with more of these little shy guy ghosts. So DK, way to the left. And we're just showing up right next to him. We have two presents in this first segment. I guess I could just jump up here and grab this one really easy. Actually, I can get both of the presents fairly easily. If I just do this, right, boom, got it. Go back on the conveyor belt and just wrap back around again. Press this button. Okay. Bounce back up. Oh, wait a minute. That's not really what I wanted. So once I press that button, how do I wanna, well actually, maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, once again, I tend to do that. You can just go under like this. There we go. Yeah, interesting. I feel like that shouldn't have been as easy as it was. There was supposed to be something more complicated I was supposed to do, but I guess not. With this one shy guy, oh, I have to guide him, don't I? Yeah, switch, and then switch again, and then I can turn him into a block right over here. Looking up here then, there's a present on that side. Oh, be careful, I wanted to press jump and I pressed grab by mistake, whoops. That's not good. This is why we have so many lives. All right, let's switch you over here. Again, and again. Okay, then I can do that. Uh, that was close, that was really close. What do I need to do here? It looks like I need to move this one shy guy over there in sort of the same way we did before. So, got that switch. One more time. And then getting everything lined up here might prove to be difficult. But, maybe that's enough? Let me see for myself. We'll climb up here like this. Oh yeah, definitely. There's no one up up here, right? Doesn't seem like it, so can just ooh, grab that present. Do this, avoid the thwimp, and pick up yet another mini Mario. Not too bad. Okay, so with that done, we have one more mini Mario left to save in this world. Let's get to it. And it's gonna be with the little thwimp as the icon. <laughs> They're so adorable, I love them. I wish these toys were like in real life <laughs> so I could collect them all. Have them all on my shelf. What can we do here then? Uh, press this button, I don't know if that really did too much for me. Should take a look. There's a present right in the center. To get to that one, I'm gonna have to make sure that the red switch is activated, actually. Pressing this again. And we'll bounce on this. Get up there. Yeah, 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 this should work. All right, Mario. Bounce to this one. Got it. And we'll go down here. Oh, nice. So now I need a different button pressed. I think the blue one is the only one we can really access at the moment. Oh, and then I could get a one up over there. Gotcha, a one up and then getting up that way. So it looks like we get a, ooh, big jump, but I make it, oh, but I can't. Hold on. I guess we have to go up this way. That's fine now. Yeah, it's not too big of a deal. Ready, jump, and jump. And I, I haven't really found the chance to mention it, but one thing I did notice about this game is that Mario's voice actor went back to Charles Martinet. Like, uh, we, we had a different Mario voice actor for Mario Bros. Wonder, but now it's back to the old Mario voice. I wonder if it's because it's like remaking the original game, which had voice lines already. That might be the case. All right, we're gonna jump up here. And I guess, yeah, I can just climb this ladder and get the key. Awesome. And then I should just be good to go through the door. First segment completed. 
what's going on in here. It looks like not too much. Mini Mario's up there, we got a present right here, and the third present right there. So really the only thing I can do at the moment is get this little shield guy all the way down to the bottom. Once we do that, what do I wanna do? It looks like I just want to, oh, I see. I need them to come over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not really what I meant to do. Here we go, go ahead and push me. Thank you. And then I jump, jump, get onto the ladder. From here, yeah, I could press this, but what does that really do for me? Oh, you know what, I need the red button pressed, which the red button's up there, so we should be fine. Here, I'm gonna sneak past you. Sorry, ooh, ah, got it. Okay, wait a minute. That's maybe not the best angle for it. I should have waited. Ah! Hold on, go back down, Mario. And then we... Maybe wait until just about now. That was much better. Should be able to land onto that, onto that no problem. So if you wanna push us off again. Whoa, come on! Yikes, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we'll try again. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now that I know what to do, I just see that I have you fall all the way over here. Then I press the blue button again. Come on over. We got it, we got it. This is much simpler now. I can press the yellow switch, which I don't know how much that actually helps me, but I can get over here. And then once again, right when those shy guys are lined up a bit better, there, that should be good enough. Uh, push me again. There we go. Then we can jump over here, no problem. I should be able to fall off this platform, get the third present, and run over here. Now what's the deal with this one? Um, This one's really simple, actually. What did the yellow one even do? I don't know. <laughs> I thought the yellow switch didn't really do anything, but ah, I jumped! Why didn't you jump over? Ah, oh, now I gotta do the whole thing over. Darn. Okay, gonna jump over that and then grab it. So silly. But hey, we found our way through, and now we just have the final two little segments to get done. That's awesome. They seem pretty happy about it. Okay, so let's see what's next for us. Right over this way. So, Spooky House Mini Mario Challenge coming in right after we get a whole collection of one-ups. So. Right over here. Let's give it a try. So. Whoa. I think we can get up to like eight one-ups if we get them all. So let's focus on that. And I will jump down here for now. Snag the key really quick. All right, that should be it. We are destroying these. These ones are a lot more of just like a platforming challenge, which I feel like I'm a little bit more apt to, just with all the platforming Mario games we've played. Very cool. So we're up to 45 lives now. Now we can do a spooky house mini Mario, and we'll guide them all to the treasure chest. But of course, along the way, we'll have to get all the toy letters. That one almost squished the toad. Let's go, little guys. <laughs> oh, so cute. Let's go, little guys. What do we want to do here to start things off? I think first things first is we want to jump up here and hit that button. That way the thwomp is stuck. Oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go over here again. And then before you, s oh wait, not even over there, just over here. Before you slam down, yeah, now you can. So we can guide the mini Marios over this way. And before I get too carried away. This could end up being a little bit scary. I think we should probably get over here again. Oh no, uh, uh, not quite what I wanted, actually. This is tough. Okay, you're gonna slam, and this guy's gonna go up. So if I, I'm looking at that thwomp on the far right, right? So if I do this and then do that, it doesn't really change much. Uh, honestly, that might have made everything worse. I'm trying to get the thump on the far right to be way up, but I might just not have that opportunity. Hmm. I'll run over here super duper quick. Oh, I see. 
See, now we have the chance to really move it. Everybody hustle. Okay, what do we do here? Everybody can jump up. We are running out of time. Slowly, but surely. So I do need to be careful. Hey, you guys are up there now? I didn't mean to make you go up there. Okay, so do that. Actually, one of them being down here could be okay. I want you to slam. Oh, we gotta hurry. We really gotta hurry. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get this all done. Ah, wait! Ah, oh, darn, I'm gonna retry. That stinks. I didn't even really mean them to get up there. This one's confusing. Uh, Get across to here. Press this button. Now the thwomp is stuck. He has to go all the way up to get him stuck up, up there. So this part I can only zoom through a whole lot better. So get you to go across. We run, run, run. Then I get all my little friends to come up that way. I am going to press this button to protect them from there. Then I think we go up here. We get all of our friends to do the same thing. And then I press the red button. Ooh, but then the yellow button maybe? See, I can only have one available at, the, at a time. You know what would be better then? Is if I had you slam, oh, you know what? I think I get it, I think I get it. Boom. All right, guys, I, I can stand on top of the mini Marios, which is funny, but sometimes not very useful. Then, I gotta quickly press this button. We can all go across now, like this. There we go. And before you do that, so this is where I need to pause and really think about it. How do I get them onto here now? I actually don't know. Uh, There's not a spring. I don't think they can just jump up. Can they jump over in that scenario? If not, then I'm a little confused on what they can do. Because I'm pretty sure they just walk up. Or walk off. See if I do this. Will you guys, you'll just fall off. How do I get you? Can they go on top of the thwomp? If not, then, hmm. This is sort of a pickle. I don't really get what I do here. How do I get them across this gap? I guess I could try it. Uh, here. Press the button. That's not what I wanted in the slightest. I know we're running out of time, but I, mean, I gotta do something. Here. Press, no, come on. What do I do, what do I do? How do I get them over there? I'm definitely missing something. Cause it's not that. Oh no, they can! They can make the jump! They just didn't last time. All right, well, they can jump gaps. Good to know, with six seconds remaining, I got it. Interesting. There's little things like that you just don't really know until you try, I guess. All right, we made it through level five, and M with all six of them together. Took me an extra try, but we found a way through. Levels are definitely getting more difficult. But let's take on Donkey Kong and see if we can handle it. I'm happy we haven't run into that rope level again. That was too difficult. This is much more doable. So can I throw Shy Guys at DK this time? Gotta watch out for the little ghosties. Uh, but I think I can. Oh, ow, I see. Hold on, let me retry. <laughs> Try that again, uh, because I do not want to take any damage. Okay, so watch out for the ghost. But I can go over here. Got it, got it. Toss. Nice. Which one are you gonna switch now, I'd imagine? Yeah. No, oh, come on! Oh, that stinks. I was trying to jump over them. Yeah, I can see this boss fight being tough just because of the weird hitboxes the shy guys have sometimes. So it looks like you're changing this shy guy into a normal one. So if I could, I could maybe toss. No! <laughs> come on! I know I'm like resetting right away, but it's really important that I get this done without taking damage. So figuring it out now, better than nothing. Okay. Tossing that over there. You're gonna press the button again, I know you are. So that shy guy goes back to normal. I dodge you. Got it. Grab you. Here we go, now we're being efficient with it too. Ah, no we're not, come on. Jeez, so close, but then that guy just flew right into me. One more time, one more time. We're getting a little bit farther each and every try. So if I toss you, pick this one up. Ooh, look at the speed going on with this one. We got it under wraps this time. Which one are you gonna press up? Uh, I'm scared. 
I'm sort of trapped over here. Okay, you're going back to a normal shy guy. Gives me the chance just to toss that over there. Are you serious? Uh, no! Are you kidding me? I'm sort of getting somewhere with this one, but I also don't trust it in the slightest. There we go. I gotta watch out for the red guy. Uh, okay, I get one, but will I get hit by the other in the meantime? Ah! Wait, did, did he hit me? I don't know, I think he might've hit me at that last second. I don't know, we're about to find out. Did I get this one perfect or is the game just evil for this specific boss fight? That was ridiculous. No, I can't believe that. The same exact moment that I hit him, he hit me. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sick of you, DK. You and your ghostly shy guys, I don't like it. All right, well, let's see where we're chasing you off to. Hopefully somewhere cooler than this. It's really a lot cooler than this. It's cold, slippery summit. It's world six. So I'll have to go deal with that. All right. We'll be slipping and sliding through levels here soon enough. All right. Before we do, of course, I need to go back here for what feels like the millionth time trying this without taking damage. Okay, this could be it. Will disaster strike? No, it won't. Man, that took me so many tries. There's just so many little spots where you can get hit by one of the shy guys out there. You take it slowly or you take it quickly. That was a mess, but we find a way through and now we can officially say we have escaped the spooky house. Definitely not easy, but we got it done. <laughs> All right. So with that done, we can move over here and uh, be ready to take on Slippery Summit in the next episode of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.